Well, an Annapolis couple accused of trying to sell state secrets awaits their fate pending trial. WJC has been following the story since Sunday. Paul Gessler spoke with national security experts about just how dangerous their alleged plot was. The husband, a former U.S. Navy nuclear engineer, his wife, a school teacher, but both tonight accused wannabe spies looking to sell U.S. military secrets to undercover agents. Jonathan and Diana Toby are in a West Virginia jail awaiting Friday's detention hearing. Federal prosecutors want to keep them locked up pending trial. Jonathan Toby is accused of trying to sell sensitive military information to a foreign intelligence officer. Specifically, information on the U.S. Navy's Virginia class, nuclear powered attack submarines. Why is it critical this type of information not get in the wrong hands? This type of specific information at this level is, is highly critical, obviously, and the release can cause exceptionally grave damage to the United States. Defense researcher David Lucky says the release of this type of information could hurt the U.S. several ways. Information on how to defeat our technologies, and we also don't want our technologies to fall into the hands of our adversaries or potential adversaries for them to use against us. State secrets, nuclear submarines, this is almost seems unreal. Yeah, it's, it's like a movie. I think one of the other neighbors said that too. It's like a movie. Neighbors in their Annapolis neighborhood described the family's house swarming with federal agents Saturday. Diana Toby, a teacher at the nearby Key School, is accused of being a lookout while her husband dropped SD cards off at secret locations. Everybody felt bad because we know they have kids. Um, so that was everybody's first concern. The FBI says Jonathan Toby left their Annapolis house with one of those children just minutes before sending a password to those SD cards to an undercover agent. Toby received $100,000 in cryptocurrency and during one communication even appeared to suspect he was talking with U.S. agents. I reached out to the three attorneys listed as defending the Tobies and so far I've not heard back. The couple is due again for a detention hearing in federal court in Martinsburg, West Virginia on Friday. In Baltimore, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.